Hello folks and welcome here to Divine Fine Motors and let me first start off by saying thank you so very much for taking the time to look at this absolutely gorgeous 1991 Cadillac Sedan DeVille and folks this is about as nice as you'll ever get one of these cars let me introduce myself my name is Jack Price I'm standing out here in front of my home here in Palm Harbor Florida and Palm Harbor, Florida, folks, is located around Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete. We're about halfway down the state. We're over on the West Coast side, and my wife and my family, we've raised our three of our kids here, uh, sent two of them to the University of Florida. We've been here for about 13 years, and our little baby, she just got accepted to Yale University up there in New Haven, Connecticut. So go Yale Bulldogs and go Florida Gators and go whoever team you're rooting on. But anyway, we've been here in Florida for about 21 years, folks. We came down from West Virginia. We're both born and raised there in West Virginia. She's from around Huntington area. I'm from around Charleston. Actually, I'm in Boone County, a coal camp south of Charleston, and she's from Wayne County. But uh, I've been in the car business, good gracious, praise God, it's been going on about 25 years now. And folks, what I do here is we just started our business about six years ago. I used to work for Furman BMW right here in Palm Harbor, Florida. And then I started doing this for my own self here in uh, in Palm Harbor. We got our business license almost six years ago in Divine Fine Motors and what we do folks we go out and find really 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 nice stuff. But this vehicle I'm selling today has a very 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 special meaning to me. Number one it's a Cadillac. They used to call my dad Cadillac Jack. He always had Cadillacs and, and, and his dad before him but uh, a very very dear friend of mine from West Virginia called me about a year ago and he was dying of uh, a cirrhosis of the liver bless his heart and he said he's like my dad my dad passed away about 12 years ago and DJ has uh, really guided me and given me some uh, good wisdom throughout the years I've known him for 30 years and he said JL that's what everybody calls me up there he said I want you to go out and find me the nicest not he wanted specifically a 1991 92 or 93 uh, sedan DeVille he said that uh, those were the best motors, the best riding cars, and DJ's got a, a, almost a brand new Cadillac in his garage. Uh, now, when he passed away, he, he's always had a Cadillac, and he could go out and buy a hundred brand new ones if he wanted to. He's a very wealthy man, a good business fellow up in, uh, in uh, West Virginia, owns a lot of rental property, always was in the uh, uh, railroad, but anyway, DJ was... Uh, he was something else and he was a perfectionist everything he did was perfect and everything he had was perfect and he told me and, and when he asked me to find him a car I told my wife I said oh mercy because <laughs> he is so picky DJ Polly uh, when he had his cars detailed he had him to take a toothbrush and get the lint and the dust and stuff off of uh, off of his cars I mean, he was the most perfectionist person I ever known. But anyway, long story short, so I looked and I looked and I looked, and I finally found this Cadillac down in Naples, Florida. And if you're not familiar with Naples, Florida, just Google it. It's probably the most wealthiest place in the whole state of Florida, Naples. It's down on the west side of Florida, down the Naples area, West Palm Beach. But anyway, I found this Cadillac down there, oh, about eight or nine months ago, and I sent him some pictures. I had to go take pictures and uh, mail them to him. DJ never did mess with a computer or anything. And I said, DJ, I found one of the nicest Cadillacs that I've ever seen. And I said, I think it's going to be perfect for you. So anyway, when he said, uh, he said, I want one with the sticker. I want one with all the keys. I want ones as nice as you can get. And folks, let me tell you something. This back seat in this car has never been set in. This leather is as nice. When you open this door, it still smells like a brand new Cadillac. My son, my 23-year-old, saw it yesterday when he came home for Thanksgiving. He opened the door and he said, Gus, gracious, Dad. He said, look at the stitching in that leather. I said, I know, son. That's when they put real leather in a car. But this Cadillac is absolutely perfection. Inside, the outside of it, it's just absolutely amazing. It's a DJ Poly car. It does, it's just 
gorgeous as can be everywhere you look anywhere the door jams everywhere it's just absolutely gorgeous has all the nice chrome trim on it has the alloy wheels it's the option package C now for all intents purposes this is only a one lady owned car this lady ordered this car brand new from Hoot Cadillac up in Michigan she was a snowbird bird she had her a big nice home down here in Florida and I don't think she drove much to Florida this thing only has 47,100 miles it might have a little bit more miles when you get it uh, I would like to drive it a little bit more it's just breaking my heart to sell it but DJ gave it to me and I've decided to go ahead and pass it on to somebody else who might be blessed with it but I guess you can see I'm taking you all the pictures. Folks, this carpet, this is when they put real carpet in a car. This is when they put real stuff. There's no plastic stuff in this car. There's, it, this is, it's just one of the nicest cars I've ever seen. And as I say, the interior is perfection. The exterior is like brand new steel. Every light works. Everything works. Bless his heart. There's his, uh, his thing. I'll have to put that back. But anyway, of course, it's got a clean Carfax. The car has had everything. You're going to get brand new tires. He just put brand new uh, calipers on the front, new brakes. It's got new wheel cylinders in the back. It's got new struts. I called up here and talked to these people at this uh, Chevrolet GM dealership. It's had brake, uh, brake wheel cylinders replaced, brake fluid flushed, transmission flushed, antifreeze coolant flushed, transmission fluid flushed four-wheel alignment done I mean it's had everything done to it it's even got a brand spanking new battery you're going to get the window sticker to this car here it is it's got all the options on it and as I said it's got the nice big package C option it's got the carpeted floor mats folks that looks brand new it's got the six-way passenger and power seat it's got the security package the illuminated entry system remote keyless system theft deterrent system the leather seatings the alloy wheels it's got it all all the chrome this was about a thirty-three thousand dollar car brand new and folks it still looks brand new you're going to get all the owner's manuals and everything she kept everything in here it's even got some of the service records in here all the owner's manuals there's some of the service record stuff that she has here's the roadside assistant thing i mean it's got it all so there's your original owner's manual with everything in it there's your original window sticker you're even going to get all the original keys the gold plated keys these haven't never been used uh, it's got the key fob here that opens the trunk you wait till you see this trunk I'll go ahead and open that now this trunk looks like it's never ever ever had anything in it now i'm going to try to hurry here but this ashtray has never been used. Now this car has ashtray uh, lighters and ashtrays all over it. On the back, they all have the lighters in them. None of them's ever been used. The steering wheel is perfect. Listen, I drove this car almost a thousand miles up to West Virginia in April. And uh, DJ, my buddy, passed away just about two weeks ago, and I just drove this car all the way back home. It even has a power antenna that works perfect. Everything on this car works like it does brand new. I mean, all the lights in the back, look at that. I mean, this is a real Cadillac, folks. It even has a little door back here that opens up, and you can put stuff in it. I think there's some Band-Aids in it. It's got the automatic dimmer there, the rear air conditioning ducts. The, I mean, this car is just so nice. The headliner's just perfect. Look at that. That's real chrome. That's some real stuff there. No plastic stuff there. Hard, nice, nice, nice everything. Let me show you this right back here. Look, all the chrome on this car is just absolutely perfection. It just is just gorgeous. It's got not the, all the chrome. Chrome wheel wells around the wheel wells are all chrome. Look at that. Boy, I please, please, please take care of this car. Pass it on down to your kids or your loved one when you get finished. Folks, listen to me now. When you open this trunk, my buddy DJ looked at this. And he just shook his head. He was just speechless. I mean, this trunk, honest to goodness, it looks like that she never put anything in here. 
This is the Cadillac mat. Looks like it's never had anything on it. Even underneath there, it's perfection. Look at this. Can you see this? Can you see this hood? I mean, boy, you're talking about a nice car. Look at it. Look at that. Underneath here, spare tire's never been, never been unscrewed there. This thing still looks as brand new as it ever was. There's all your stuff on it. But whoever gets this, please, please take good care of it. Drive it or collect it. Put it in your collection. Whatever you want to do. But you've got something super, super nice. There's the floor mats. The feet's never been on these floor mats. Look, these are the driver's floor mats. DJ, bless his heart, he went ahead and put some plastic, or not plastic, some big rubber floor mats over those. He said he didn't want to put his feet on them. All the door jams look fantastic. The trunk area, the uh, hood, all looks great. Look at the paint on it. Look at all the chrome. Look at the chrome bumpers and stuff. Boy, this is when they build a car. You just don't find them like this anymore, folks. For heaven's sakes, they don't put chrome on nothing anymore. I miss it myself. Got a little water dripping there. The oil's already been changed. Uh, uh, they've said that it has new, all new uh, plug wires in it. This is one of the best motors you'll ever have in a car. All this insulation was redone. It's got a brand spanking new battery. That was $150. And it, like I said, folks, I just drove it from West Virginia. It runs and drives and does fantastic. I drove it up there and I drove it back. But folks, there you go. So listen, you'll have the number there to call me. And uh, listen, this won't last till the end of the auction. And I'm not going to charge you $8,000 or $7,000 or $6,000 for it. Again, it's only got 47,000 miles. It's basically a one-owner car. The lady passed away and it went to her, it went to her son. And uh, he traded it in down in Naples, Florida. And I bought it from the dealer, especially for my like my dad my buddy look at the look at the door jams look at this thing isn't it gorgeous so anyway he didn't have it eight months bless his heart and uh like i said my name was on the title but uh, the lady she owned it all of its life and she took good care of it it's always been serviced like new and I just don't know where you'll get something any nicer than this ever. Believe me, I've looked for the nicest 91 Cadillac out there. I looked for it for two months. I found it, and here it is. So God bless you, and congratulations on finding it. Please take care of it and love on it like it's been in its whole life. Again, you got brand new tires. It doesn't need nothing. It's ready to go. So give me a call. Give Carol a call. Now, you're going to be buying this from me. Not from a dealership or anything, so uh, I'll help you all I can. We can help you get it shipped to you. It's going to go in my garage when I'm finished with it, and it'll look like this when it gets shipped to you, or we can pick you up at the airport in it. So God bless you. We love you. Listen, be kind to one another, folks, and love on one another, and do what you can for each other. Love your kids or love somebody else's kids. Teach them how to love their self and love other people. Praise God. we got to do something about this love in this uh, world we gotta teach people to love on everybody but anyway thank you god bless you and congratulations on this beautiful car bye bye